Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today I have a haul for you. This is a collective haul of items that I have purchased from dollar stores and thrift stores since October. Long span of time, but there's not really very much here. So this should be a short haul. Did want to get it uploaded though and uh, take note of what I got and so since it started in October there's a couple of I think uh, Halloween things but only two at the most I think first of all I got this whoa look at that glare I got this uh, I don't know what you call it melamine plate I'm just going to use that as a watercolor palette on my table and this is from the dollar this is from Dollarama and then I got this uh, paper pad from Colorbox it's the Chateau Noir collection it's all black and white but it doesn't have anything to do with doesn't have anything to do with uh, Halloween it's really nice I like it always on the lookout for nice black and white papers. So that was Dollarama. Next, I uh, picked up a couple of things from a um, kind of like a liquidation type store. They don't really have a name. They're kind of called something like Bargain Warehouse, but the name changes and whatever, but it's always there. And they always have something for Fiskars. So I picked up this square corner squeeze punch for $1.99. This is called the Round the Bend Redonda. So it makes kind of a, a fancy circular squared off corner. I don't know. I'll have to give that a try. And they always have Sharpies there too, so I picked up two of each, the Ultra Fine and the Fine. So then next to a thrift store where I got a handful of little golden books. I have a feeling all of these were... I have a feeling all of these were uh, Christmas ones, but we'll have a look. Got ABC is for Christmas. Uh, Jane Werner Watson, that's a famous writer. Santa's Toy Shop. This one you see all over the place with different colored covers. 12 Days of Christmas. This one is illustrated by Sheila Beckett. I believe there's a newer edition of this with different illustrations. This is a new one, though I got it from the thrift store of Rudolph. And it's been adapted and re-illustrated. This is The Night Before Christmas with the original illustrations by Corinne Malvern. She did a lot of the illustrations in... Um, Dick and Jane type readers. So, I got those. And then, I thought this was a really a good deal. I came across this place that had um, watercolor paper. First of all, they had this pack of parchment paper. This is parchment paper, 9 by 12, 50 sheets, which is probably not what's there. Parchment for Svidoval and Osmoroid pen lettering. And that, I assume, is a fountain pen since there is a picture of a fountain pen on there. That's nice paper. Then came the Daler Langton Tinted Bockingford Watercolor Paper Selection. Now it's all in here. It's a sample set. There are 
there's one sample sheet each of oatmeal, eggshell, cream, and gray. Uh, not 140 pound, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they're 15 by 11. So this is a big thing. So we've got tints to them here, green and blue and brown and yellow. So those will be nice to try out. And then they just had a bunch of torn... Oh, you know what? That looks like it might have a stamp on it. Uh, no. So I don't know what weight this is. It's definitely thicker than what I buy. It appears to all be the same. And I guess this is probably what you call your 11 by 15. Yep. So got that. Really pleased about the, about the papers. And uh, finally, the last thing I got from the thrift store was a... Um, uh, what do you call these things? They're a, a case, a binder that's within a case. I have the, uh, I have a spinder binder from Tiffany, totally Tiffany products, and I really like it. I like the idea of having the stuff that I have in the binder be in a case so it doesn't fall out. So I have something that I want to try putting in just a regular sized binder. And uh, this was what a buck fifty, like casemate, and it's uh, a little. Well, it's not re it's not really worn at all. It just looks dusty from sitting around. So yeah, I'll give that a try. Uh, one last thing I got is um, on Facebook Marketplace. I found this, and this is the Piece de Resistance. I have been looking for uh, a centerpiece to use for um, a 3D uh, mixed media piece that I'm going to make for my son. And uh, I really didn't want to start it until I found the perfect thing to be the centerpiece. Now this is a barometer, and I've had it for had it for a few weeks now and it works and it's old it does not say what date it is but it is it is an old one it's three inches across and it's very nice and I think that is going to be an excellent piece in the middle of uh, in the middle of the mixed media piece that I make and I'm really looking forward to that so I got this off of Facebook marketplace and it cost me five bucks which I thought was very good. So that is all. Thank you very much for joining me. I've got lots of uh, things coming up for you. And in the meantime, until next time, bye!